Most touchscreens use capacitive sensing to detect input. When your finger touches the screen, it changes the electrical capacitance of that part of the screen. This change is detected by a grid of sensors in the screen, and the microprocessor registers the touch. Millions of dollars in research and development come together in this technology that lets you play Angry Birds on your cell phone. But what if you want to play Angry Birds and eat Doritos at the same time? Well, if you don't want orange streaks on your screen, you may want to use some kind of a stylus. But you don't need to buy one. There are plenty of common items that can be used as a capacitive stylus. Just look for items that meet these criteria. For a more detailed description, follow the link in the description box. Here are a few of my favorite designs for a DIY capacitive stylus. The back end of many metal pens can be used as a stylus without any modification. The more metal there is in the pen, the better it will work. This is probably the most convenient stylus because it can function both as a stylus and as a pen. The negative end of a battery like a AA or AAA can also be used as a stylus. This makes a great impromptu stylus because we're rarely far from a battery of some kind. Probably the most interesting material that can be used with a capacitive touchscreen is a sponge. It's cheap, effective, and actually cleans your screen as you use it. To make a sponge into a useful stylus, just cut off a strip of sponge and insert it into a metal pen barrel or other metal tube. This gives it shape and makes it a lot easier to work with. The only problem with a sponge is that it won't work if it's completely dried out, so you need to periodically re-wet it. Most metal office supplies have at least some surface that can be used as a stylus. Some examples of office supplies that can work are scissors with a metal handle, a name tag clip, binder clamps, or an unbroken bunch of staples. Pretty much anything wrapped in foil can work as a stylus. A pencil or pen wrapped in foil is probably the simplest example. Just make sure that the end is flat, completely covered in foil, and that there's enough exposed foil left over to make good contact with your hand. There are plenty of other materials out there that can be used to activate a capacitive touchscreen. Here are just a few. Feel free to try out whatever you have lying around. If you think of a particularly interesting material that works, leave a comment and share.